obviously rich people pretending to be poor is something that we've seen for a while. Uh, it popped off not too long ago on the Bird app. Let me see if I can show you this. It was this multi-millionaire guy who decided to do a new game plus to prove that poor people are just lazy and cringe, and that's why they're not millionaires like him. So, he, so there was this thread not too long ago about this guy who can purchase everything besides a hairline, apparently, who who decided to drain his bank account, go to zero dollars, become homeless, and walk the streets and see if he can make one million dollars in one year with with the, with just his smart smartphone and his know-how and that's basically it i'm gonna save you the entire story but it's a little strange in 2020 he decided to drain his bank account he had he had seven figure businesses he was he was he had boku bucks he was very rich and he decided to go out into the street with his backpack and his cell phone to see if he can make cash so i've been chilling under this tree i've made a bunch of accounts for like postmates all this other stuff here's a post i made on craigslist Pretty much I say that I'm willing to work and do anything <laughs> if I Anything you say. If I'm willing to sleep on a floor, couch, doesn't matter. So we'll see if anyone gets back to me about that. I'm just right now just going in a lot of places, gonna make a bunch of calls, try to convince someone to let me live there for free um, in exchange for me doing stuff. So I'm just gonna start calling people. Recently kind of came on hard times um, and I'd love to find Wait, he's okay. So I this this part's really interesting because he then he then baits people into trying to give up part of their home to somebody who they think is suffering, but who's actually just a millionaire doing a social experiment. That must feel so bad after everything's said and done. You know what I mean? It's so wild. <laughs> Anyways, basically after this happened, a guy in a RV decided to take him in. The only problem is the RV was actually uh, filled with roaches instead of um, love. But the guy opened up his home to him and then he had a home instead of uh, sleeping out on the street. So he likes to get naked in this guy's RV every now and again. Um, and in his spare time, what he did for money, if you were wondering, is that he went onto Craigslist and Facebook, found free items and then flipped them later and scam people into paying money for something that was literally free that he picked up that afternoon and so that's what he was doing for money for a little while uh until that stopped working out he was doing postmates for a while he was doing doordash for a while just running around doing that type of stuff until he <laughs> did a big city until he got a job he got a marketing gig and this is when everything completely fell apart and that's when I knew this is just his new game plus and it means literally nothing. How many people off the street can just get a marketing gig at any time? How many people who have a home right now could just get a marketing gig at any time making $1,500 or more? You can't just have a marketing gig. This doesn't work like that. You gotta have, you have to have something that's marketable already. If you're just poor, no. If this guy only did things that your average person can do, then maybe it would mean even the smallest amount of something. But this is what proves that this wasn't st him starting fresh. It was a new game plus on top of the fact that he already has an idea about how to do these types of things and what he wanted to do. People don't go into homelessness with a game plan. OK, that, <laughs> people don't people don't go into homelessness with like a play by play book of what to do next to how to make a million dollars. A lot of people are just instead of going play by play, they work it day by day to see if they can even live the next day or find somewhere to sleep. That's much different than what this guy was doing. And then afterwards if you wonder what happened um is that his dad got cancer he got he got two autoimmune diseases at the same time he had bird flu hepatitis and sars i rattle bars then he got sad then somebody who was following his youtube channel of pretend poverty was like, dude, I was going to kill myself, but then I saw your YouTube videos and I decided not to. And he was like, I'm going to continue on. I have to do this for my people. The next day he quit because he got sad and he was too sick and he decided that he wasn't going to do it. If you're wondering how much money he made at the end, his goal was $1 million. He made $65,000 in that time um, and, not, and not in an entire year with a job and by scamming people by like flipping items that were free from Craigslist and Facebook to get people to pay money for it. Um, on top of like a, a whole bunch of other things that he was doing. Okay. Just if, if anybody's keeping count, that's 6.5% of his goal that he got in that time completely failed in his new game plus. But this got me thinking and I was kind of wondering on top of the fact that I was actually thinking about moving at some point and I was looking up videos about 
uh, my town that I live in, towns near me, just really small YouTubers, what they were doing and things that they liked about the towns and best places to move, worst places to move, stuff like that. And then I stumbled upon something really curious, really, really curious. And that was the existence, the, the existence of YouTubers who go around cit cities to kind of look at how bad they are and film homeless people on the street. It was really weird. Okay, it was really, really weird. Let me see if I can pull up this video for you. Video is called Even Wisconsin Has a Homelessness Problem Now. Just filming Welcome poor homeless people, people on the street. Republic of Wisconsin. And some people who might not may not even be homeless. This is just a guy. This is just a guy on a bench. Is he is he a homeless bum? I don't know. He's going to record him anyways and call him it. That's what the rest of the state calls this place. I didn't make that up. Wish I did. Madison's been called a lot of other things, too. Republicans in this state say Milwaukee and Madison are the turds in the punch bowl. <laughs> God. 77 square miles surrounded by reality, they say. The Berkeley of the Midwest, people insist. Now, this isn't going to be a bad video. But you people like bad stuff, so I had to get your attention. Madison, Wisconsin is actually a wonderful place. It's just different now. It's changed. Different. I'm going to talk about that a lot. And I'm going to show you a lot of homeless stuff. You love that. And I'm going to complain about politics because you love that. If I didn't do those things, you wouldn't watch this video. I know you. It was. Anyways, let's get forward a little bit. They talk to old school Madison people and they'll be like, this place used to be so funky and it felt like a community. But now there's these tall buildings everywhere and Target on Main Street and a dollar store downtown. What? Where's all the mom and pops? Well, a lot of the mom and pops left during the riots of 2020. But it's become your typical snobby liberal place, even more so. Taxes are going up. Traffic's getting worse. Crime's going up. And the solution? Just keep throwing money at the problems. But that's just making it worse. Yeah, except for, yeah, much different than Republicans' plan for homelessness, which is... You see? Oh, my bad. Make their living worse. Make them worse. Instead of giving them money, take money from them. Because... Many people have said the best way to get out of a poverty is for the government to crack down on the way that you live and make sure that you have less money. He's a concern. Look, I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta hold on. Things are gonna get bad quick. This is State Street. It's the main drive through the heart of downtown Madison. It goes from the capital all the way to campus. Most of it's just bars and cheap Chinese crap. If it wasn't for the bums on every block, it'd be a pretty nice place to be. The thing that most people complain about these days are all the homeless people and the crime. It's a super duper liberal place, so you have to watch what you say. But I think everyone here is frustrated by all this. Bums. Yeah, that's a that's something that's been his that's this that's something that's been his go-to for a while. I saw an older video from this guy. And he was doing a video about, oh, the best places and the worst places to live in America. And he viewed the best place and worst place by specifically how many bums and losers and, and people who don't want to work are there because there's two types of people in America, people who want to work and aren't bums and people who don't want to work and are bums. And if you're a bum, you're a bad person who simply doesn't want to work. And if you're rich, you're probably a good, hardworking American who loves work and loves a a functioning society and, and community, right? And when liberals move in, poor people just, I don't know, maybe the, like they just appear, right? They just, I don't know. It's kind of like, it's kind of like how we thought germs happened or like rats and flies happened back in the day. I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but like the working theory before germ theory came around uh, was that when you just leave stuff out, diseases, rats and flies and maggots simply just spawn from them like they came from the ether. And I think that's how like poor people happen with liberals, okay? When a liberal walks by an area, a poor person just pops up on the street. 
They just have an aura around them that makes people homeless. <laughs> and they're a bum who wants a government handout. And it makes me sick as a good, as a hardworking American. I tell you what. Yeah, I think the real bums are the people recording homeless people on the street for money online. But, you know, this is me. It's worse than I thought it would be. Sort of like a mini Austin with all the beggars and smelly druggies laying all over the place. The whole downtown smells like weed. And it was here in Madison where I got my first whiff of piss on this trip. It was him. He pissed himself. Poor college kids that probably voted for all this. So they have true. to feel so uncomfortable around a lifestyle that they enabled. I wouldn't want to go to college here if I had to walk past this every day. Austin was worse, but it has a Berkeley vibe here, just without the tents on the sidewalks. Yuck. And P.U. This is all fake news. It's all fake money. Ever heard of Agenda 21 or Agenda 30? Well, which agenda is it, Mappy? They're letting everyone in here and putting everyone on the streets. Who's they? The UN, the Rockefellers, the Bilderbergs, the Gates Foundation, China. You saw that? You heard that? You heard that? <laughs> Just randomly in the video, the Rockefellers, the UN, the Gates Foundation, they, the one world governments letting everybody in and, and giving us vaccines. What, chat, what do, what do you guys think? Percentage chance that he's going to say something about like, shut up, Mappy, take your, um, take your Fauci ouchie. Man, you looks like you haven't had enough COVID shots. <laughs> well, yeah, JQ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, backwater racist jump scare just out of nowhere crazy how it works out isn't it are these conspiracy yep just out of just out of nowhere boom right there slapped it right in your lap just threw it down on the table not a care in the world he sounds so budgeable yeah the anti-semitism speed run he's going to he's going to talk through he's going to talk through mappy um He's going to talk through Mappy in this video to kind of separate himself from his abhorrent beliefs about the world. China. They. Mappy, it sounds like you've been reading those conspiracy theory blogs again. So true. Why don't you go back to reading the celebrity gossip? Pipe down and take it. Take your medicine. Cash your check and shut up. But what about all the companies that want us to get sick so they can population control and own everything? Carl Schwab! Carl Schwab, what have you done to my city? <laughs> Mappy is cooking. Mappy would get banned on every social media platform and lose his job. But that's, listen, when you say something and people don't like it, that's how you know that you're telling the truth. <laughs> Order, new. Bugs, consumed. Ownership, none. Yup, it's they time. I'm about to go up in the mountains to a, a neighborhood up high, mountains of Medellin. Which is Deep into the hood. Alone. Have you seen the thumbnail for this one? <laughs> Wrong turn, Gringo. <laughs> I feel like I kind of want to. I, I kind of want to start saying this now. You know what I mean? I I want this to be a part of my vocabulary. I'm not Hispanic. But wrong turn, gringo. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> oh, what, what you doing here, white boy? What you doing here, white boy? Wrong turn, gringo. Now turn out your pockets, hombre. <laughs> oh, man. Someone come up on a motorcycle and take what I got. And I wouldn't recommend anybody. I've been here in Medellin, Colombia, seven years. I know the culture. I know the people. I know what to look out for. So, no, I wouldn't recommend any YouTubers coming who don't understand the culture just coming and filming in places like this. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Right, it's not worth it. He's just talking about these people. You, you ever think about the type of language these people use when they go to poor areas? Here we have the large African elephant. Poor eyesight. Don't get too close. You could ruin your life. With 10 tons worth of power, it could flip one Jeep in a single throw. Be very careful when you come out here. It's not worth it. This way where those bikes were. Visiting the most dangerous city in America, 2022 edition, a year ago. 
I'm Tommy G, and you might be wondering how I got here. I, and this, this is the part that I really don't like is about how these people, they just go here, right? They make content out of them. Like this video got how many, how many views? 5.8 million views, couple couple thousand dollars out here by going to like one of the poorest places in the world. He has get to farm people who have suffered so much through our system, who've grown up in some of the worst areas in the world just as content and then you just kind of book it and that's just it. I don't know, just like, I really don't like this turn of YouTube. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the days where those, those prank channels existed and, and they just like make fools of poor people, they use them for money and then they just kind of dip, right? Like, man, that was so crazy. That was so dangerous. The likelihood of you going to St. Louis and then dying is or getting robbed or something is so actually astronomically low. Even some of the most dangerous cities in America are still so wildly low that you can't you can't be like, oh, man, I need to be on my guard here when you're just out. Because more likely than not, nothing will happen. Literally nothing's going to happen. It's not that dangerous. It's no it's probably no more dangerous. More likely than not, it's, it's no more dangerous than you just driving in your car. On some roads, you're more likely to die in a car accident than you are to go to some of these cities and then get like robbed and shot and, and your mom gets your fingers in an envelope asking for a hundred thousand dollars so you good you good bro you good no i'm just wondering where the fireworks are you know those guys hey this is part of the crew too nah so literally every car that was coming down the street i was keeping an eye on and i was like hiding behind the car i was up when i would see it coming i would like hide behind the curb just to make sure because i didn't want to take a chance if it was a rival and i i don't know if they're friend or foe i wasn't about to die this was too hot anyways back to dude i went Dude, I went to this <laughs> went to this predominantly black neighborhood. I was hiding behind the damn cars, man. He thinks <laughs> he thinks he's in a COD mission or something. He's praying. He's pressing X to take cover every time a car goes by. Every time a car goes by. All right, all right, dog. Sure. I mean, I guess I don't know. Man's played too much GTA. I can say this because I lived in in St. Louis. Actually, I'm not sure if I I'm not sure if I talk. It it must it might have been an op. You see. I didn't want to catch those hands and get packed up by an op. <laughs> he didn't want some fella on the street to catch a body now. I actually lived in St. Louis for um, a good while, actually, while my while my parents were still in the military. Literally nothing happened. It was perfectly fine. It was a perfectly fine place. I, I, I went to school in the city and everything. We were in the city a lot. Is St. Louis dangerous? Yeah. Yeah, has a lot of problems, 100%. But going there, but going there and filming pe poor people there, like you're going to the damn zoo, is just crazy. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, worshiper of Olympus, for the five dollars. Tyler Oliveira is the worst of them. Now I've heard about that, but I've never seen anything about Tyler Oliveira before. I've never watched any of his videos before. None of them. I like I, some of them have popped up on my timeline, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about this guy. I saw him complaining on Twitter about people saying that his content is bad because he treats poor people like he's going to the zoo. Yeah, it's like a human zoo, basically. And then he just farms them for content and then goes someplace else, as he calls himself like an investigative journalist. Oh, that's 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 Order, man. They just freed their order. Yeah. They just freed their order. The police on our ass. The, the police will roll up when they see this shit. They don't come around here. How old are you guys? I just turned 19. Okay, so when you turn 25, what do you want to be happening in your life? We want to be rich, buddy. This year or the end of this year. I'm hitting the heights. Real heights. Big heights. We ain't rich, we ain't rich off this music shit that we're going to hit a whole lot of heights. I mean, we ain't broke out here or nothing. I, I take like two puffs, I'm done. I go for a jog, I read a book, I'm out. Damn. I smoke. 13 wheels a day. All right. These guys are seriously good rappers. Their music videos are captivating. I hope music is something they chase. Their links are in my description. Go blow them up. Comment Gorilla Gang. Gorilla Gang. You know he was doing the hokey pokey to these guys. Wait, these guys, these guys are actually popping off. They're doing great. Their music is so captivating. <laughs> oh, I got to visit them for a day. Incredible stuff. Anyways, as you can imagine, he went he went to the hood and he was perfectly fine. Literally nothing happened. But yeah, I wanted to check out Tyler Oliveira at some point because some of the stuff that I've heard about him is just absolutely terrible. I have not looked up any of his I've not looked at any of his content before, but I but like the whole I go to a poor area, let's see if I get shot by these dirty poor is a, is a is a video idea that's um as old as YouTube YouTube careers have existed. Um and, and so, yeah, it's not it's not very. So, yeah, I I can 100 percent imagine that that type of stuff will uh, definitely bring in a lot of views. I can I can I can uh, I can see it 100 percent.
It's almost like people live in the hood. Hood tourism is the new poverty tourism. Um, I don't, it's just I don't know, it's just kind of sad, honestly. <laughs> it's just kind of sad content to see. YouTube really should discourage this type of stuff. I personally believe they should really discourage this type of stuff. A lot of these types of people try to call themselves journalists. I feel like as YouTube channels and Google has gotten more prolific, uh, the word journalist gets thrown around by people who absolutely are nothing like journalists and know nothing about actual journalism. They're just guys who go who go talk to people out on the street. That's not journalism. That's not journalism. That's just content creation. That's literally it. But, you know, whatever. But yeah, I want, I want to pick this up soon.